Hello everyone. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Modded. I am Classic Gamer, and last time when we got to um, uh, Fort Conda, that's the one, um, and we're about to help them fight off the uh, Shimmer. Now I've got my stopwatch going so I can keep um, track of what I'm, um, you know, time-wise because for some reason my action file or program won't show me the time, it just has a white square at the top of my screen. So we're going to do this battle, I'm not particularly great at it but we'll try our best. So we'll probably go on for about, well we'll go on to the end of probably as best we can. Uh, how do I get up there? Ah, there we go. Uh, I think there's a way you can win, and if you win in this way, then it basically helps you. Hmm. Nice view. Do you guys want to see it too? See what? The condor. It's huge. Come and have a look. Wow. That is impressive, and in modded HD as well, even more impressive. What do you think? Awesome, huh? Uh, so who do we talk to? Oh, what's the point in that? Who the freaking hell do we talk to? Hmm, now this is something I never thought anyone would ever climb up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now the Shimra will... This will be a battlefield against Shimra. You better get get down before you get involved. Shimra, the hell are those jackasses doing here? The Shimra? It appears you have a problem with Shimra too. After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? I guess so. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? Huh? Something's up there? The reactor and the condor. I can see you're very perceptive. Yes, it's reactor and a condor. It seems the Shimmer don't like the idea of having a condor on top of, a, of the reactor. Damn, that's one big bird. But why are they trying to get rid of it with weapons? It's not very logical. It seems there's a t uh, some type of material, of special material, in the reactor above us, and because the Condor came, the Shemra rushed troops here. The military wants to get the Condor and all the villagers off this mountain. The Condor is now warming its eggs, w which hatches only once every few years. We would like to protect the Condor from being harmed. New lives? I'll do it. I'll protect them from Shemra. So, to protect the egg, are you going to protect the reactor? Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shimmer ourselves. That's why we've hired soldiers to help us. As our sponsor, you can help You can help us with a contribution or fighting alongside us. What do you think? You want to join us in our fight? What's there to think about? We've got to do it. You decided what we're going to do? Alright. Hey, we'll come. To, we'll we'll come to the rescue. Right, let me lend a hand too. Yes, I've told you the, the store. I've also told the store owners about you, so they should sell you various items. And feel, I didn't read that. Sorry. Oh, and I've asked my son, who's standing guard at the shed, about anything related to our military tactics. Right, so now we can actually get stuff in the store when we couldn't before, but how he could have told us, I don't actually know. Because <laughs> he didn't actually go up there. You hang in there. Mm. Yeah, let's get... Hello, do your best, we will too. Oh, sorry guys, not the mic. Hmm. <sighs> 
idiots. Do 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 do. So up we climb, and we're going to go and help these guys fight in the battle against the Shimra. Come on, I can't fucking get up the stairs. Oh, come on. That's better. Thanks for accepting. So, I shall let you in on our strategy. The enemy has targeted our mounting reactor and will be climbing to reach it. We must set a trap to hire and hire soldiers to protect this place. Well, this is all we have. The village doesn't have any money. Even if we wanted to fight, we can't because we're broke. We need 400 gil to hire one soldier. So if we hire 20 soldiers, that is 8,000 gil. We need to ask you to use your own money to hire these soldiers. Buy the equipment, sell it up and give the commands. If you don't have the time, you could help us with a donation. If you donate money, we can hire the soldiers and block Shimmer's attack. We know what we're asking is selfish. We sent our wives and children to another village, but we're re but we resigned to stay. Let's get back to bases. If the enemy reaches the shed, you have to immediately fight. You have to fight them off immediately. It's not the end of the world, but if you lose repeatedly, it could be dangerous. Is now then? Is there anything you wish to ask? This is a victory. You can win by wiping out the enemy or killing the enemy commander. If the enemy reaches the shed, they'll attack and you'll have no choice but to battle immediately. If you lose during direct contact, even and even if the enemy gets to the reactor, there's still a chance to win. But it's only a slight chance and how much, and how and we have no idea how much the reactor can endure in an attack. When we can't defend against the attack any longer, the Shimmer will take our lives. The condor and all the material in the reactor. the enemy. There are four different types of enemies. Weavers, beasts, barbarians, commanders. Oh, wave, waverins? Waverins are flying types that can move at high speed. Uh, high speed. Stoner and trist, tristoner aren't effective against them. Beasts. Beasts are monster types. They do not move quickly, but have explosive attacking explosive attacking power. Barbarians. Barbarians are human types. They attack from a distance, so you've got to be on your toes. There are four types of commanders. Commanders are the enemy. Commanders are the enemy commanders. They're the ones we want to sub subdue, but they are from, are from they are a formidable foe foes. Um, the enemy? Did I do that? Yeah. Your mobile allies are fighters, attackers, defenders, shooters, repairers, and workers. Your immobile allies are stoner, tristoner, catapult, and fly cat fire catapult. Which do you want to hear about? Mobile types. Which do you want to hear about? Fighters. Fighters are good at defending and attacking, but aren't especially effective at or deficient for any enemy. Attackers. Attackers are extremely fast and are best for expanding the front line. They work good against enemy beasts, but not enemy barbarians. Defenders. Defenders have endurance, but move slowly. Their best suited for defence. Defenders work best against enemy barbarians, but not enemy wive, wive, re, rends or whatever, something like that. 
Shooters. Shooters attack from a distance, but they have low endurance. Shooters work back against enemy wavelengths, but not enemy beasts. Repairers. Repairers repair allied units, but have little attacking power. Uh, these are basically saying like what um, defenders we've got, like what things we've got for us work best against um, the people who will be attacking us. I'm not going to remember all of this. Workers set mines. Mines have strong attacking powers, power, but workers don't. Um, miners explode when touched. Mines explode when touched by the enemy. The explosions will damage everything in the immediate area. Anything else? Immobile types, which we'll hear about. Stone, stoners. Stoners can fire a single boulder, causing extreme damage to even every enemy it hits. Tri stoners. Tri stoners can. F Tri stoners can fire three boulders simultaneously, causing extensive damage to every enemy they hit. We can't use tri stoners or fire catapults because they are not still not ready. Catapults. Catapults shoot rocks at great distance, causing causing extensive damage to every enemy they hit, which you want to hear about. Fire catapult. Fire catapult. Fire catapults fire bombs at great distance, causing extensive damage to every enemy they hit. We can't use tri stone or fire catapults because they are still not ready. Anything else? Anything else? Um, funding. We have 15,000 gil ready right now. We need 3,000 for each battle. How much can you help with? Thanks. This makes 20,000 gil. Thanks. This makes 21,000 gil. Thanks, this makes 22,000 gil. I'm not sure how much I actually have, to be honest. Thanks, that makes 23,000 gil. You don't have enough money right now, okay. Right, okay, I don't have enough money for that. Now then, is there anything you wish to ask? Other. First off, we need we must prepare the troops. Move the cursor where move the cursor wherever the X marks appear. Does move the cursor wherever the X mark does not appear. Then press OK to set up. After all positions are in place, press cancel. This battle this starts the battle. Soldiers can only be arranged near the shed in the beginning. That's because if the soldiers are too far away, they won't be able to follow instructions. You can only put soldiers above the horizontal line at the at the very bottom. Soldiers cannot be instructed by can be instructed by pushing assist. So if there's any command, so if any commands are unclear, push it. Soldiers can report by pushing OK. The cursor will move to the soldier who made the report. Press and cancel, and you'll hear the report without moving. And you can bet Shimmer will send platoons at regular on a regular basis. It will be great if you could spare the time to help us. But if you really don't have the time, we would love to come on financial assistance. Right, let's. Enough. Looks like they're getting ready to attack right now. Please, any help is appreciated. Okay, ready. Hey, we're a little short of, on money, so could you at least make 4,000 gil? Oh, great. Great. Perfect. I need to have another 4,000 gil. So I'm going to have to go out and probably book... Right, we're going to have to go and uh, make some battles. So we're going to go and do that for... You know, try and get into a few battles, if we can get up to the required gil. This is going to take us a little while. We're coming up to about the 15 minute mark now, to be fair. So probably um, I might sort of do this for a few battles, go to like the 20 minute mark maybe, or a little bit maybe, mm. yeah I would say maybe the 20 minute mark, 
maybe the 25 minute mark, half an hour mark, something like that. The the longer it is, the more um, space it's going to be. When it loads, come on, come on, come on. Oh, excuse me. Come on. Right, let's get into some battles. And yes, if you're wondering, that is the same names as on Final Fantasy VIII. Cool, huh? Didn't go up very far, did it? <laughs> Pardon me. Take this, bastard. Oh, yeah. This is going to take me a fucking ages if I do it like this. Right, we'll just continue for a few battles and then see how we do. Take that, you bastard. Well, I remember we'll try and get to sort of like maybe two. We might be able to get the two grand, I don't know. This is a new enemy. Hmm. Well, that's not very much, is it? Pathetic, really. That guys, what I might do is go and maybe do that, maybe go and do this bit off screen. Um, it's not going to be particularly fun for you guys to watch me do it, so I might have to sort of wander around, try and do it, maybe go back up into the condor, um, or whatever it's called. Um, and from that, doing it that way, then at least now I can get the four grand, and you guys won't have to watch. But 
it's now the 20 minute mark of this video so I think um, yeah well we've got about 1100 now so what we'll do we'll go back up and I'll go and see if I can sell some bits so if I can sell some bits then I'll go and do that um, if not then I'll go and get in a few more battles but um, I'll come back to you when I've done that so thanks for watching guys and I will rejoin you when I've got the money bye for now